YouTube, what's up? I wanted to do an Uber run with my whirlwind barb using this seemingly useless hammer. So many people commented saying that it was useless and that there were better options. The time save was not worth it, so let's see. I'll go over the gear and the merc setup used in the run, the stats and the skill points used in the build, and then we'll run it and see how it goes. Timestamps and links will be in the description below. All right, so here's the gear. We're using a grief. This one is not that great of a roll, but you don't really need anything that great. Using Jeep Face with a cham in it so we cannot be frozen. High Lords, Deadly Strike, and Lightning Resist. Then we're using a Death. The reason for Death is the 50% chance of crushing blow, which gives us 100% chance of crushing blow. Go Rider Boots for open wounds, Deadly Strike, and, and crushing blow. Then we're using Enigma for the plus two skills and the teleport. Faster Cast Rate Ring with six mana leech, Arachnid's Mesh, and then a Faster Cast Rate and seven life leech, and then Laying of Hands. And then on swap, this is where we're using the Gravel of Pain. I put a Hell Rune in it so that it makes the strength requirement much lower. Then for small charms, we're lacking in poison resist. So that's why I have some poison resist charms on here. An all res charm. And then we have some 320 with life. 320, 14. 320 with faster hit recovery. Faster hit recovery, 312. 320, 15. 320, 14. 320, 14. 32016 and just a plain 320. Then we have the bone break. And then we have a 1074 875 106440 106440 106940 and a 7861. 2015 10 Annie and a 1817 Barb Torch. So this is the attack rating after Demon Limb. So 13 thousand attack rating res is pretty good uh almost full almost full on poison we put about 200 points into dexterity and then the rest into vitality i don't think i put any points into strength for the merc setup we have a cure for the cleansing aura and the faster hit recovery chains of honor for the eight life leech plus two skills and all res and then we're using infinity so since i'm using the charges on the gravel of pain i'm able to use infinity which lowers monster defense and then he's a might aura merc for the skill tree one point into howl one point into shout max out battle orders and then one point into battle command we max out blade mastery one point into increased stamina one point into increased speed then we put our remaining points which is 14 into iron skin Iron Skin is good because Whirlwind, you're considered standing still, so the defense is actually good. And then I maxed out all resistances. One point into Bash, one point into Double Swing, one point into Double Throw, and then one point into Frenzy. If you're slowed, you can uh, combat the slow. So one point into all of these, and then max out Whirlwind. Now that we've made the portals, we will uh, do our pre-buffing. So make sure that everything is repaired. The first thing we'll do is we will pre-buff with Demon Limb to increase our attack rating. I believe the attack rating normally is like 10k and then it's 13k after Demon Limb. So we'll enchant myself and my Merc. And that lasts a while, so you only have to do it once. And then the second thing we'll do is we will proc fade using Treachery. And uh, usually this lasts about four minutes, so we should be able to last the entire run with one fade proc. So we'll go out here. There's a little spot of fire that you can use to proc fade. Let's hope it doesn't take too long to proc. That was very quick. Makes it pretty easy. So then the last thing we'll do for pre-buff is we will pre-buff with uh, Heart of the Oaks on swap before we put the Gravel of Pain on swap. This way we can do it all in one enchant buff, one battle order buff, and one fade buff. So that's the goal. So yeah, we'll go out to Frigid and battle order up. So we do battle command, battle order, and uh, increasing our defense as well. And then we'll switch to Gravel of Pain on Swap. And since I have 40 faster cast rate, uh, teleport speeds are pretty good. 
even on swap. So let's just map the charges for amp damage. So we'll do Forgotten Sands first. It's the easiest one. So just cast it and then swap back to Grief and Death. So you are slowed by Duriel. So the, uh, the Whirlwinds are slightly slow. But that was pretty easy. Then next we will do Burnus of Pain. And we will teleport over there. Again, the teleport speeds are the same on swap. So. You can see how fast the uh, cure fears curses in here. So you only need one amp damage cast per boss. So the three charges are perfectly suited for ubers. And then last, we will do Matron's Den. Lilith. So we'll just teleport over there. Usually it's to the uh, left. I went the wrong way. I went to the right by accident, so to the left. So yeah, there we go. So one amp damage cast, and then we whirlwind. My Merc is being occupied by the succubee, and that was pretty easy level. We'll cure up, and then we just go to repair our charges. So we need three more charges for the last three bosses in Uber Trist. So far, that was pretty easy. Less, less than a minute, maybe? Maybe less than two? We don't need any of those, so we will get some rejuves. I feel like I haven't even used a re. Maybe I used one rejuve. So we'll make the portal to Trist. And the first thing we'll do is we'll do Mephisto first. So we pull Mephisto. We'll just fight him here. So one cast again. Redo my defensive shouts. I used one pot for myself. My Merc got ripped almost instantly. Didn't have a chance to save him. But there goes Mephisto. Super easy. So we'll get my Merc back. Because, again, the Merc is important with his Conviction aura to lower boss's defense. Obviously, his Conviction doesn't do anything versus Mephisto, so it was fine that he died there. So now we will do Bale. You stand in this spot and Bale will teleport over. So we do one cast of amp damage, and then we whirlwind away. Bale is uh, usually tough to hit, so that's why Conviction is good and having a high attack rating. But also these little minions take some hits away from Bale, so it could take a little bit. But the 100% crushing blow is seemingly pretty good versus all of these uber bosses. So there goes Bale. Use a pot on my Merc. Cast amp damage on Diablo. And there you go. You don't really need life tap because you're doing so much life leech for each world when you do. So there you go. That was pretty easy. So again, like this quote unquote useless uh, hammer. I feel like those, those amp damage charges are perfect for this. It was super easy. Again, I was in no danger of any death. So let's see how this torch rolls. Pick up the torch. And again, Fade lasted the whole time. It was all done in one one buff. So one enchant, one battle order, and one Fade proc. Greetings. And I used two or three pots. 12, 18, Sork Torch. So yeah, that's it. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to do so below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.